I'm gonna do one of my favorite things, mussels. Um, uh, the first time I started to work in a restaurant, uh, I was just super impressed by the taste of mussels. You know, it's not something I really grew up with. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited about this recipe. Uh, I'm gonna be cooking it using gin. It's, it's a slightly sort of different uh, take to cook mussels. So I'm gonna steam it in a little bit of gin. There's some of the natural juices of the mussels. And to that, I'm gonna add cardamom, uh, zest of orange, the juice, uh, creme fraiche that's got a bit of a, a, a lemony taste to it. And obviously that creamy taste, we're gonna start to make that sauce first. And then we're gonna fold the mussels through there with some English spinach. English spinach, nice and soft, so it cooks, mu it cooks much quicker. And uh, then some uh, chopped parsley. Now that's a traditional sort of herb that you normally use, but uh, I'm really, really looking forward to, to cooking this and showing you this recipe. But it's really delicious. And that kind of botanical flavors that you normally pick up in a lot of gins nowadays, especially our local gins, uh, just really works well. Uh, cardamom, instead of making it too complicated by adding too many different uh, ingredients, I think cardamom normally kicks you, sort of like gives you that nice um, uh, exotic type of flavor. Um, and then the citrus, of course, it's actually a very classic combination to add uh, uh, orange or orange juice and the skin of an orange to mussels. Works really well. So let's get going. So this is a very simple preparation. The idea is to start uh, with making the sauce. So I'm gonna start by chopping up just a medium sized onion. So normally with mussels, you know, that's probably very traditional as well. Onions and garlic. So we, we're doing it exactly the same way. I just wanna cut the onions a bit finer than normal. And the reason for that, for me, we're doing these half shell mussels. The finer you cut the onions, the more it sort of like uh, coats the mussels. If you cut it too big, they just tend to just lie in the sauce at the bottom. So I want them as fine as possible. Okay, now some garlic. I'm using two cloves. So garlic can be garlic, but you know, one of those things that you have to check is that you get garlic that's nice and sort of like sticky instead of those kind of dry cloves that you tend to get as well at certain times throughout the year. But these ones are really nice, so again, just a fine chop. Okay, so I've got a sauce pot on here, so to this I'm just going to add unsalted butter. I'm gonna cook the onions and the garlic in sort of like medium temperature butter. Um, not No oil, but I want sort of like that low heat so the onions and the garlic will just start to soften. Soften without getting too much color. I don't want any color on there. Uh, so again, you know, once you cook like that with that low temperature, it's important just to adjust your temperature as you see what happens in front of you. Uh, the butter will just start to melt. And while that's happening, I'm just gonna prepare some of the other ingredients. Got the cardamom, I'm gonna use two, two pods and I'm just gonna crush it. And then I want the zest of this orange and I also want the juice. So yeah, again, you just want the skin, you don't want the pith. Um, 
you know it's all these kind of delicate flavors but uh, if you get too much of the pith it just will make give it a bit of a bitter taste Okay, let's check on our onions here. So this is basically what you want to see, you know, that low temperature, especially when it comes to seafood. Um, people tend to cook with that high temperature, especially coloring the onions, but that just adds such a different flavor to it. If you do this more clean, slow cooking, what happens is the onions are actually sweetening a little bit. You get that kind of sweet flavor of the onions. Picks up much better with um, seafood, especially mussels, prawns, that also has got that sort of sweetness to it. Mm, and you can smell it. So now I want to add the ingredients to my pot. So I'll start with the gin. Then the juice of the orange. Okay, and then our zest and cardamom pods. So now this, I just wanna quickly put back onto the heat there. I'll increase the temperature a little bit. Not to boil it, but just to bring it up to temperature. And then here we have creme fraiche. Now you can use uh, normal cream. But again, creme fraiche, uh, I think it's, it's a lot more richer than normal cream and it's got that slight acidity to it. And yeah, when it comes to the richness and the combination of flavors, it's nice to add the creaminess, but to also retain some of that acidity, it really you know, balances well with the, the flavor of the mussels especially. Uh, so I just, like I said, I just wanna heat that up and then Creme fresh goes straight in. Just want to give it a quick stir. Mm. It smells amazing. Okay, while that's slowly cooking, I just want to get my other ingredients ready. So what I'm going to add to the pot there is some, some parsley. Again, I'm using flat leaf parsley. I mean, um, they just have uh, so much, you know, that nice fresh sort of green flavor that goes well with mussels. Uh, the other herb that I actually quite like using with mussels are coriander, but then, you know, flavors like chili and lemongrass and those things works well. Um, and in the restaurant, what we would do normally, we sort of blanch this in some salted water, um, almost make it into a puree. So yeah, you get this kind of green sauce, but I'm just gonna cut it nice and fine. And then we're gonna add the English spinach to it. Again, just a quick chop, not too fine. Okay, what I want to do is just add a little bit of salt and pepper to uh, my sauce before I add the mussels. So I'm not gonna add too much. Remember, if you cook mussels, they also have kind of a bit of a natural sort of uh, saltiness. So just be very careful in the beginning, especially when you when you season with salt. So I'm not going to put in too much um, parsley. Okay, and then the mussels goes in there. So the time for the mussels to cook will be also the right amount of time for the spinach to just wilt in there. Okay, 
Okay, so that goes back onto the heat. I'll just increase it a little bit. And all that I want is for that kind of creamy sauce to just start to heat up. Uh, some of the juices of the mussels are in there now as well. Uh, the half shells, I just sort of defrosted them overnight. So they still have some of that nice natural juices in there. You don't want to get rid of that. It needs to go into your dish as well. And then I'm just going to fold that. Those flavors will really work well with the sauce that we've started to build up there from the bottom up. Okay, so. So I can smell how that could work with, the, with, with a nice gin cocktail on the side. The flavors, the smells of the citrus and the cardamom, just beautiful. Now I'm gonna serve it with just a slice of sourdough bread, as simple as that. Now obviously you can serve this with some pasta or uh, some risotto, It'd be perfect. But as a nice, easy, light lunch, perfect just with some sourdough bread. I'm gonna give it a light toast, just some olive oil. I think we're ready to plate up. I'm just gonna plate it in a bowl. So the sauce is still nice and loose, not too thick. And that lovely smell of the, the parsley with the orange and you can just you know, get that nice faint smell of the cardamom. Just amazing how well it works with the, with the mussels. Put that extra sauce. And then um, some pepper. And then just some of our sourdough toast to serve with it. There you go.